Join hundreds of students who excel in maths by learning from the mathstutor.com.au. Through hundreds of comprehensive video maths lessons, a passionate teacher shares his expertise, unique teaching style and methods with you. Go to themathstutor.com.au and join up now. www.themathstutor.com.au Making maths easy. Don't forget to tell your friends. <laughs> Now we're going to work out the area of a kite and the area of a rhombus. Well, the kite and rhombus are different shapes. However, they share the same formula. The formula for a rhombus, the formula for a kite. To find the area of a rhombus and to find the area of a kite, they have the same formula. The formula is half times x times y. Half times x times y. Pretty simple. Whenever you think of a kite and a rhombus, remember that formula, the area of a rhombus, the area of a kite is half times x times y. Now here, the x and y are not any of the sides of a rhombus or a kite. The x and y are actually the diagonals. The diagonals of a rhombus, the diagonals of a kite are the x and y. Very important for you to remember. A kite and a rhombus, they have the same formula. However, the x and y are not measurements of the sides, but the measurements of the diagonals of a rhombus and the diagonals of a kite. Now, I'm going to show you some examples of how we work out the area of a rhombus and the area of a kite. Let's get started. Okay, now we're asked to find the area of a rhombus. Now this rhombus, it says measurements are in centimeters. The rhombus here, we can see that the diagonals, diagonal number one is nine centimeters and diagonal number two is eight centimeters. Now in rhombus, very important, the diagonals may look the same, but in fact one is longer than the other. This one is nine and this one is eight. We're now going to use the formula half times x times y to find the area of this rhombus. We always write the formula first. A area equals half times x times y. Half times x times y. Remember, x and y are not any of the sides of a rhombus, but in fact, they are the diagonals of a rhombus. So, half times x and y. It can be any of them. This can be x, this can be y, or this can be y, and this can be x. It doesn't really matter. We'll call this one x and we'll call this one y. Half times x, x is 9 and y is 8. You can grab your calculator. Half times 9 times 8. We know 9 times 8 is 72. Half of that is 36 square centimeters. So the area, everything inside this shape here, everything inside the rhombus, the area is 36 square centimeters. We use the formula half times x times y. Now we're going to use the same formula to find the area of a kite. Both area of a kite and area of a rhombus, they have the same formula. Let's do that now. Okay, now we're going to use the same formula half times x times y to find the area of a kite. Now we can see that the kite has diagonals. The x and y we mentioned are the diagonals of the kite. x can be that and y can be that. Or x can be this one and y can be that one. It doesn't really matter the x and y as long as you know that the measurements are for the diagonals and not the sides of the kite. Very important to remember. A equals the formula half times x times y. Half, we write it down, times x. Let's say this is x and this is y. x is 10 and y is 6. Half times 10 times 6. 10 times 6 is 60. Half of 60 is 30 
and we know the measurements are in centimeters so 30 square centimeters 30 square centimeters is the area of the kite always remember the formula half times x times y is the area of the kite and the area of the rhombus as i always tell my students remember your formulas without them you can't get any of these correct you need to remember them all the time there are so many of them memorize each one the area of the kite and the area of the rhombus are easy they have the same formula half times x times y we now worked out the area of a kite and before we worked out the area of a rhombus we use the same formula half times x times y